Greetings, 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 beautiful people of God. This is Prophetess Rivers with another word, another message. Today I want to talk to everyone about self-righteousness. Yes, self-righteousness. We've all had a past and not all of it has been good because if, if it had been good, then there would be no need for a savior. But some of us, not all, but some of us tend to forget that we've had a past and we look at other people's lives or we look at their past with a magnifier. But then when it comes to our own past and our own life, we get Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder. And I don't think that's good. I feel that if God took you and all of your mess and made you into who you are now, what makes you think that God can't do it for the next man or the next woman? And when we get to the point where, and I'm ministering to myself too, when we get to the point where we feel like, oh, only God can save me and God can't save nobody else, then that's where self-righteousness comes into play. Look at the story of Jonah in the city of Nineveh. He, Jonah did not want to go to those people because he felt that they were filthy people, they were ungodly people, and that they weren't going to change their lives. He knew the type of people that they were. He knew the history of those people. So when God had told him to go to the land and go to the people and tell the people to repent, he didn't want to because he felt that they weren't going to change from their ways, that they were going to continue to do the things that they were going to do. Well, he ended up going. He ended up telling the people to repent and they did repent from their sins. So you don't know what God's going to do in a person's life. They repented, but remember, that person has to want to change. You can go to them, but they have to be the one to say that, you know what, this life that I'm living, the things that I'm doing, I want better in my life. I want to live a life that is pleasing and acceptable to God. The Word of God says in Isaiah 64 and 6 that our unrighteousness is like filthy rags, that we are like leaves that fade and that our iniquities are like the wind so you must understand that you are not righteousness off of your own doing you're only righteous because God has made you righteous there is nothing that you could have done that make yourself righteous it is God that make you righteous now the question of the week is do I believe that a good woman can make a bad guy or a bad man turn good well what do you define as a good woman? Because I would rather the woman be a godly woman than a good woman. And even with that said, I believe that that man changes because he wants to change. Now you can influence him to do right. You can show him the right way to go. But a man can have a good woman. He can have a godly woman, but if he does not have God inside of him, then he's going to continue to be the way that he is. So instead of saying, could a good woman make a bad man good, is can you lead him to Christ? Because if you can lead him to Christ, I'm for sure that he will turn from his wicked ways and be a good man. But I'd rather have a godly man than a good man. I thank God that my husband as a godly husband and not just a good husband. Remember, I love you. God loves you and all that you do. Give God the honor, glory, and praise. To God be the glory.